Hello, welcome to this tutorial video. My name is David Melendez and I'm with Deathside Support. And today I'm going to be showing you how to install additional memory onto your 840 G6 laptop. So this is the front of the laptop. What we want to do is flip it over to the back side. And on the back side of the laptop, we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws that we have to remove with two other screws being in these holes in here. So for these screws, you're going to need a pretty small screwdriver. I'm personally using this kit here. And this is about the right size. As you can see, it's a pretty small screwdriver. And you can proceed with removing all eight screws. Now the screws won't completely come off the laptop. It's designed so that they just unscrew but do not completely remove, which is actually ideal because you don't lose the screws that way. Okay, now that you've loosened all the screws, you want to make sure that all the screws are nice and loose. Otherwise, it's going to make it difficult to remove the back panel. Now, in order to remove the back panel from the laptop, we're going to use a tool. This came with my kit. It's a very thin plastic, sort of like a razor made out of plastic. And what you're going to do is you're going to take that plastic blade and put it into the side of the laptop and then we're going to go ahead and run that across the side and what it's doing is removing all the little uh, clips that are holding the laptop together we can go ahead and run that across the front and then run it against the other side And once you do that, you should be able to remove the back panel quite easily. So this is the current memory card that's already in the laptop. If you're just adding additional memory, you can go ahead and just add that to the empty slot here because there is two slots for the memory card. If you um, already have two slots and you're, and you're upgrading it, then you are going to have to remove um, the card that's already there first. So we're only adding one card, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and remove the card that's already here. Just in case you need to do that, it will be part of the video. So to remove the card, you'll notice that there's two little handles on each side of the memory card. Those pull outwards and it allows the card to, be, to uh, loose, loosens the card and you're able to slide it out. So if I pull these two levers, outwards you'll see that the card automatically lifts up and once it lifts it's just a matter of just pulling out the card just like that okay. so now we can go ahead and proceed with taking our new card and what you want to do is you want to match the open slot here on the card with the open slot here and that lets you know that you're not putting it the wrong way so if you if you notice if I have it flipped the wrong way this notch does not match this notch here but if you have it the right way you'll see that now that this notch matches up with the notch on the laptop what you want to do is you want to go ahead and enter the card a little bit of an angle so that it fits all the way in just like that and then once you have it completely in where you can't push it in any further just go ahead and press it down now you should hear a click sound and that's the two um, levers that we had to pull, they're automatically clicked back in into little openings of the memory card. So you just want to go ahead and just wiggle the memory card, make sure that it's nice and tight. If it's not moving, everything looks secure, you're good to go. So now that we have our memory card installed and we check that it's not loose, everything looks good. The two levers are in the two slots. 
everything looks even. We can go ahead now and place the back panel back on the laptop. So just lay it over the laptop and go ahead and apply some pressure so that the back panel is completely secured back on the laptop. You can press on all, all the sides to make sure that it's completely in. You should hear some clicking sounds. And if you no longer hear any clicking sounds, it means you've went ahead and applied the back panel correctly. And now you can go ahead and proceed with tightening all the screws. Okay, now that we have all eight screws back in place, let's go ahead and flip over the laptop. Now with the new memory card installed, we want to go ahead and power on the laptop just to make sure everything is working correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and power it on. Now it is normal for the laptop to take a little longer to load than usual. This is because it's just recognizing the new hardware. You'll also notice that the fan seems to sound a little louder. That's also normal. Now you're going to hear the beeping sound and get this post error screen. That's completely normal. When you see the screen, all you have to do is hit enter. And then the laptop should boot as normal. And as long as you can see the computer booting as so, you've installed the card successfully. So with that, I want to thank you for watching and have a great day.